Good morning, good day, good afternoon, evening, wherever you may be tuning in. My name is Travis McPhail, and I'm the engineering lead for visualization within Google Maps Platform. I'm joined by Dan Belie, product manager for imagery on Google Maps Platform. We hope you're all having a great I.O. Today, we have exciting news to share around 3D experiences. Developers have long desired the ability to power immersive experiences with the same 3D data source used by Google Earth. Google Earth has pioneered 3D photorealistic experiences for the past 18 years, powering use cases from government, real estate, city building, and even data visualization. But its components have had limited availability to developers. Those components are, one, a photorealistic textured 3D mesh, two, a mesh renderer, and three, pre-built 3D experiences like Earth Studio. If you recall in the past I.O. talk, I casually mentioned, your world isn't flat, so maybe your map shouldn't be either. Well, it's time to showcase some of those capabilities that have been in the works. Today, we are pleased to share with you two of the three components you can leverage today, with more to come in the future. Developers can now access Google Maps Platform's photorealistic 3D map via our Maps Tiles API. With this data, you have the freedom and control to build stunning experiences for your web, mobile, desktop, in-car applications, and more with one of the world's most comprehensive 3D maps. For developers who want quicker access to immersive 3D visualization experiences with lower latency, you can now create aerial videos of places with our new Aerial View API. Let's dive in with Danby. Thanks, Travis. Hi, everyone. I'm Danby Lee, Product Manager for Imagery on Google Maps Platform. It can cost a lot of time and money to implement your own real-world 3D model. We've heard from some developers that they've had to settle for lower quality 2D or 3D maps for their application. And therefore, they've had to change the scope of their dream application or their product growth strategy because the geodata is simply out of reach. To help you overcome this barrier, we are excited to offer you the experimental release of photorealistic 3D tiles through our Map Tiles API. This will enable you to create next-gen immersive experiences of your own without having to produce your own photorealistic 3D map. Specifically designed for visualization use cases at city to block scale, our photorealistic 3D tiles offer a seamless 3D mesh model of the real world, textured with our high-resolution imagery. It is one of the world's most comprehensive 3D maps currently available in over 2,500 cities across 49 countries. Because it's georeferenced alongside our other maps APIs, you can even use the 3D map as a base to accurately overlay other Google Maps platform data, such as our Places API. We've adopted the 3D Tiles OGC standard that enables you to visualize our 3D map with supportive renders such as CZM.js or even your own renderer. This direct access gives you the flexibility to design visual interfaces and interactions unique to your brand and functional design requirements. Requesting 3D tiles is easy. Once you have your API key, you can begin accessing the tiles by creating and then running JavaScript within an HTML file. You then specify a root tileset URL to a 3D tiles render of your choice. After that, all subsequent calls for tiles are automatically made by the renderer as the end user simply explores the map. When serving 3D tiles, the Map Tiles API returns URIs for other tile sets. These tile set URIs are not regular URLs. They generally include only the path and parameters component and don't contain your API key. The renderer is responsible for constructing a valid URL from the content URI by merging it with the root tileset URL. Let's talk about our Cesium collaboration. Over the past several months, we've been working closely with them to improve the rendering performance of our 3D tiles in Cesium. Our API also returns data attribution information that Cesium.js handles gracefully for you on the fly. In addition to Cesium's camera orbit controls and tile geofencing capabilities. 
We can't wait for you to try this out. You can also use our photorealistic 3D tiles with your own custom renderer. You'll find guidelines on how to properly add data attributions to your rendering in our developer docs. Finally, for our AR developers, we've included our photorealistic 3D tiles in two new products from AR Core, the Unity Geospatial Creator and Adobe Arrow. Where in both content editors, you can load the 3D tile set in the location of your choice to help you anchor AR objects to the real world. For more information, check out our session called Introducing Geospatial Creator Tools and New AR Features. While tiles are a powerful tool to build custom immersive experiences, sometimes you require quick and easy, low latency visuals for your applications. For these situations, we're also offering the capability to create cinematic 3D videos via an API called AerialView. AerialView leverages the same photorealistic 3D tiles to help you easily show visually stunning aerial videos in the United States without the need to bring your own renderer. An aerial perspective provides your users with visually rich information about a location and its surroundings, like nearby parks, mountains, bodies of water, or roads. Whereas drone image capture can typically cost hundreds of dollars per location or is restricted by flight regulations, this API allows you to easily request and receive aerial videos without having to run an image capture campaign. You can request new 3D videos by providing US postal addresses to the API. And when it's ready, it'll return the video URL and metadata. To get you started today, we're providing ready-to-use videos for hotels across the US and addresses across Manhattan, San Francisco, Chicago, and Miami with many more to come. Back to you, Travis. Thanks, Danby. If you like what you see, you can try these products right now. We have a fantastic set of docs with all of the details and sample code to help you get started, including some of the demos you've seen today. Let us know what you think by reporting through our issue tracker. We need your bug reports, your feature requests, and your feedback to help us test and improve upon our 3D offering as we continue to meet the demand that's been building for years. But more than all of this, we can't wait to see the amazing things you'll build. Now, we fully recognize that there are many geospatial rendering libraries out there. For example, DECGL and 3JS both integrate our 3D tile data offering. So feel free to expand the use of this data asset in other ecosystems and communities. But beyond what we've shown today, we want to continue pushing ourselves to help you build immersive, interactive 3D experiences that are as rich as the world you live in. This means we're working to bring more 3D assets to developers that expand the possibilities of what you can build. Thanks again for joining Danby and me today. And don't forget to check out our documentation and developer site to keep up to date on available tutorials, news, videos, and more. Again, I'm Travis McPhail, and we hope you'll give these new Google Maps platform capabilities a try. Have a great IO, everyone. Mm -hmm.